My next guest was recently on a popular cable show and then emailed me, wanting to share her story. Let's take a listen. Dear Steve, my name is Candace and I'm 20 years old. I've been bleaching my skin since the age of 13. Because I live in a town where the black population is only 3% and it's hard to be accepted. Almost all of my friends are white and they have it so easy to me. Where my color holds me back from a lot of things in life. My mom, she's a single mom, and she thinks I'm putting myself in danger. She's also upset because now I have my 13-year-old brother bleaching his skin, so he will be accepted better in school and increase his chance on the football team. A lot of people prejudge me, and they think that I'm ashamed of being black, but life is hard being black, and society has caused me not to like the color that I am. And I want to help my little brother have it easier in school than I did and have more opportunities. I'm 13. I started to skin bleach because I saw my sister do it. Then I start using it every day, twice a day. Being lighter, you get better opportunities. Oh, when I see a black person, now I see that person like in like either went to jail or stayed in trouble or didn't have a degree. Guys are like, oh, black girls are loud. That's why they like, go for the lighter girls or girls who they think are mixed. I don't have with black kids at school because. Um, they always troublemakers. I hang out mostly with the white people because they like never want to get in trouble. Being a liar will like help me fit in more. I look up more to my sister because when she's in school, she hang out more with the white people and she claims herself as a white person. My friends are predominantly white. Now she bleached her skin, she like being like a better person and not getting in trouble, stuff like that. I guess like he's getting older and he wants to like look better. He's obsessed with being a guido. Black people are known for like gangbanging rap music and abusing people and shooting and staying in jail and stuff like that. I am kind of worried about it because he he takes it overboard. Like he doesn't hang out with no black people. Like he's like, oh, the underground railroads are coming. I don't want to be like an underground railroad person, like the real like dark person and be like be another person's slave. It kind of concerns me that you know he judges people like that. You know, the skin bleaching I don't see a problem with, but don't like down the race. My guess is Candy. Candy, those are your two children on the, the tape. Yes. It's, it's kind of an unusual story. Um, my wife was actually watching uh, a cable show, popular cable show, and uh, your daughter was on it, and I believe you were on it too, right? Right. And your daughter is 20 years old. Um, she approaches you about bleaching her skin. Yes. What's going through your mind, and what do you say to her? I was really kind of disappointed when I found out because at first I thought she was having issues where she was not pleased with her race and kind of dissing her own race and that was an issue for me because we're a religious based family and I teach my kids to love everyone regardless for their background, what race they are and so it was kind of hurtful and I kind of tried to explain to her it's not about your skin color you can do, you have opportunity just like everyone else just get a good education and apply yourself. Exactly. Um, now you see your son on the tape and he says some pretty offensive stuff against his own race. Yes. Um, who's putting that in his head? He come up with this all on his own. He has, he's an extremist. Whatever he does, he's a streamer. He's not. It almost sounds like a, a KKK member is putting that in his head. Exactly. And and why would a black person listen to somebody with those extremist views? He just, um, we, my kids always grew up in a predominantly white neighborhood where it was either well mixed or like where we live now, we're 3%. And all the kids he hangs out with is white. And I ask him all the time, I say, are people saying something to you that's making you feel this way? And no, he has did with society. You know, it's bad that we live in a day where society is causing people to start stereotyping themselves. Your daughter, even with the physical appearance of changing, um, do you notice changes in her behavior? I have. She's gone from, she was always kind of like tomboyish or she always fits in with wherever she's at, you know, whatever group or people. But now she's very careful. She, like she said there, her friends are white. That's who she hangs out with. She preferred to go to the white people club. She doesn't go to black people clubs. She says too much drama, it's too much confusion. It's always problems. Somebody's shooting, somebody's fighting. And, and, and you know, and when it comes down to things like, and people make that argument, and it's not more, really a matter of race, it's more of social environment, exactly. economic environment, exactly. it's not a race environment. Exactly. Um, <laughs> um,
um, I'm going to I'm going to talk to your kids um, and then we'll bring you out back out at okay. some point. All right. All right. Thanks for coming on. <laughs> Let's bring out the young woman in that clip. Let's bring out Candace. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Have a seat. Okay. So you're on this uh, cable show that uh -huh. me and my wife, we watch all the time. Now, why? You are a beautiful girl. Thank okay? you. Okay? So why would you want to change the color of your skin? Well, I mean, like, for me, the lighter I am, the more I'm accepted. Like... But who do you want to be accepted by? That's, like... And here, and I'm going to give you a chance. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this, and then I'll shut up, and you have at it. Okay. I believe me having a TV show, people don't like me. They're not, you can't please everybody. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Some people, a lot of people like the show. Good, that's good. There's a lot of people oh, like that bald-headed jerk. You know, he thinks he knows it all. Well, I don't try to please those people. I just try to be a good person, live my life. And you like me, you like me. If you don't like me, I'll stay away from you. That's simple as that. <laughs> I'm gonna be quiet. And you tell me whatever you want to tell me. Okay. Um, well, for me, like I said, it's a, I want to be accepted, and I want to be accepted by the prep kids. Like, they were cool. Like, they hung out and in a certain did, area. And they didn't accept you? At first, no, because I transferred in or whatever because um, I moved states. And so the school we... No, <laughs> I'm, I'm breaking my promise here. <laughs> we moved from Chicago here. And my daughter, who's blonde hair, blue-eyed, white... When she first moved there, she changed states, and guess what? She wasn't accepted. Okay? White, blonde hair, blue eye. Mm -hmm. Not accepted. She's the new girl. Nobody liked her. Well, guess what? She got to know people, start playing with everybody. Now she's accepted. Mm -hmm. And isn't that the case with you, too? Well, I mean, after, I mean, they really still didn't accept me until, like, I started bleaching my skin. Like, oh, I felt better. Oh, I don't believe that. Like, really, I felt better. Like, I was getting lighter. And, you know, I want to, like, dress up like them. And, you know, I guess when in Rome, do what the Romans do. I really want to look like the prep kids. And so I, that's what I did. I mean, I started bleaching, and I went to parties with them. I hung out with them. I'm still friends with a lot now of them Now, let me today. ask you something. Since you started bleaching, um, you use a chemical, you put it on your skin. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't see the show you were on. Um, you do it two, three times a day, you put this bleach on yes, you? Yes, two times um, a day. Obviously, you know, rubbing that kind of chemical on you is very dangerous. Mm -hmm. um, it'd be one thing if it was just you and if it was just a vanity thing, but you know you're carrying a lot of weight with your brother. Like, he's li looking at you trying to, like, be... He thinks you're trying to be white, mm -hmm. and that's, really, that's not really the case. You're not trying to be white, no, right? I don't want to be white. You're I just, mean, I'm proud that I'm black. I just want to be lighter. Right. I don't want to be But you see the effect that now your brother, 13 years old, you saw the tape. Yeah. He's saying offensive things about his own race. To take offense against who you are and what you come from in your heritage, mm -hmm. I, 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 it's, it's kind of insane. <laughs> um, your sister's here. Let's, uh, let's bring her out. Here's a big sister, right? Yeah. And she's she's bleaching her skin and, and and doing these things. What do you have to say about that? First of all, I transferred schools just like you did. Move states. First day I walked in, what's good? You know, my name is Erica, you know? I introduced myself. It's all about not being shy. It bleaching skin. What is that doing for you? Nothing. But look, I mean, at you. look at your no. friends. Your friends were ghetto. <laughs> like, no, they're it's, all it's loud. Ghetto comes. All ghetto y'all got in trouble. <laughs> but listen, but listen, check this out though. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> she prefers rap music, and I prefer. I like rap music. No, I'm saying okay. Uh, he, look, he likes rap. He likes rap music. Wants, okay. <laughs> she, she wants to go. go. She wants to go to the black clubs. I want to go to the white clubs. You, you don't like Jay Z? I'm. Not, I okay. But listen, I'm kinda, check this out though. You're not. You don't look better to me. You look the same old peaches. I do the look same better than you. The same old peaches. But, I do. But I mean, your sisters. I mean, and I, I mean, she's got a point. I don't notice a whole lot of difference in your skin color. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to talk to your younger brother now. So I'm going to ask both you ladies to leave the stage, and at some point we'll get back to it. Okay. Thank you.
We're going to bring Shaquille out now. Um, he's 13 years old. He's been backstage. He hasn't been uh, listening. He, so he, hasn't know, he doesn't know what's been said. Um, I just want to say, remember, he's 13. Let's bring him out now. His name is Shaquille. How you doing, Shaquille? Thanks for coming on. Why don't you have a seat? So I'm watching this, this tape piece, and, you know, I'm briefed about the show right before I come out here, and I've never done this type of show before. And I would say some of the things that you said, a lot of my audience, a lot of African Americans that are fans of my show would take offense to what you would say about the black race. You wanted to be lighter skinned. Um, because you were, wanted to join the football team. Yes. And I, I started thinking, I go, what difference does it matter your skin color? Do you watch football games on Sunday? Mm -mm. You don't? Well, I'm going to have to take you to one. There's a lot of African Americans in the NFL. <laughs> I hope the show has made some impact on you. Has it? Uh, I understand, you know, what everybody is saying, but like, you know, like, I heard someone make comment, why can't you just be happy with who you are? You know, I feel like if you notice something... you know something... what, I gotta be honest, and I don't mean to cut you off, mm -hmm. but I think yours is more of a case of just pure vanity, and it's not so much of, like you said, it's not your race, but the way you want to look. Mm -hmm. And some people, maybe, you know, you want to be lighter, but there's white girls that tan all day, lay on the beach, you know? Yeah. And they're trying to get darker. So, you know, to me... <clears throat> You know, to me, that's more of a vanity issue. You, young man, are the one that I would hope that uh, being 13 and, you know, this kind of experience has got to be a little overwhelming. You've got to be a little nervous. But I would hope that, you know, you look at Feyron, um, you know, I would hope that turn the TV set on, uh, go to a game, you see that there's all kind of races competing in all kind of sports, and it's not the color of the skin. It's the fight inside you that makes you a great athlete or makes you who you are. And that's... Um, and I would hope with your guidance, you make some impact on your brother. Will you stop using the chemicals? Uh, <clears throat> Will you stop using them? I'll, I'll, and you don't have to lie to me. You can tell me no. I mean, I've already tried. I mean, I've cut down. I used to use like five at a time, and I've cut down to just my two products twice a day. But I mean, I can't say that I'm gonna stop using them. Okay, you're being honest. But would you try to encourage your brother not to do those things? Yes. You will do that? I will do that. Okay. Will you tell me you won't try to do this anymore? Try to lighten your skin? Um. It's a lot. It's a little bit hard to not uh, try to or try to stop it, but I'll give it a shot. You give it a shot. All right. <laughs> stop doing the destructive things. You're fine. Who you are. Be the man. Be the character. Be what's inside. Don't worry about what's outside. Be what's inside. Right? Yeah. Call me. All right. Hi, Gabe. This is Candy. I just want to take the time to thank you, Steve, and your entire staff. Since the show, Candace and Shaquille both have decided to accept being the way they are. Shaq has apologized to Bam and everyone for the way he thought about black people. And I'm just extremely thankful to you and Steve for all the advice. There definitely was a lot of changes that has place in my family great changes um, since we came on the show and once again I thank you very much for it I called you Steve for help because I watch your show all the time somebody's gonna watch this and say you know what she was brave enough to do that I can do that too